The Andhra Pradesh Open University is the first open university in the country established by an act of the Andhra Pradesh State Legislature in 1982. The Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Bhavanam Venkatram, and the Education Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri K. Keshavarao, are instrumental to set up this university. The university was inaugurated by the President of India, Sri Gyani Jail Singh, on August 26, 1982. The dawn of distance education in India, a dedicated institution builder and a great visionary, Prof. G. Ramridi has introduced the concept of distance education to democratize higher education in India. It is he who strived hard to bring legitimacy to the stream of distance higher education in the country, both as the founder vice chancellor of Andhra Pradesh Open University, Hyderabad, the first open university in the country, and as the founder vice chancellor of National Open University in the country, the Indira Gandhi National Open University, Igno, New Delhi. The foundation stone for the buildings was laid by Dr. Shankar Dayal Sharma, Vice President of India, on July 2, 1988. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Nandamuri Taraka Rama Rao said, The government of Andhra Pradesh rechristened AP Open University as Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University in 1991 to commemorate the centenary celebrations of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, the architect of Indian constitution. The site is surrounded by hillocks and Durgam Chiruvu Lake. The hillocks were molded into beautiful structures for the empowerment of underprivileged sections of the people. It took almost four years to complete the university buildings and it was inaugurated by the Prime Minister of India, Sri P. V. Narsimha Rao, on 31st August 1994. The open university system as a system, the curiosity uh, about the system, the desire to learn about the system, to examine it, to get into details, all this was done in Andhra Pradesh even before 1982. 82 was the culmination of all this effort, the culmination of all these trials and tribulations and because it was the first university, it has a first to its credit. The university housed its buildings of administration and student support services, academic, center for staff training and development, audiovisual production and library, study material house, material production center, science and technology multifunctional laboratory, SICA. For the convenience of students, the university has made its efforts to set up State Bank of India and Post Office on its premises. The successive Vice Chancellors of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University, Prof. G. Ram Reddy, Prof. C. Narayan Reddy, Prof. R. V. R. Chandrasekhar Rao, Prof. S. Yes Bashiruddin, Prof. Afsal Mahamad, Prof. V. S. Prasad, Prof. D. Ramchandram, Prof. O. R. Reddy and Dr. P. Prakash made outstanding contribution for establishing the credentials of the university. The only path of dharma will 
provide us the highest form of wealth. The highest form of wealth, in my opinion, is knowledge and awareness about the society and serving the society. The open learning system provides an opportunity to majority of the unrated sections of people, that is, skilled and unskilled workers, housewives, javans, prison inmates, and all those who could not be accommodated under conventional system. The system makes learning while earning possible. The university functions through a network of study centers spread across the two states, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, where delivery services are provided to the students. These study centers are located by and large in government and government-aided colleges. The university, which started functioning with 26 study centers in 1983-84, increased its number to 176, widening the access to higher education to more number of people. It's a great pleasure to note that the university joined the family of mega universities, that is, those universities whose enrollment in a year is 1 lakh and above during 1999-2000 for the first time and continue to enjoy this status ever since. As means of reaching out the unrich, the open learning system envisages the innovating teaching learning methodologies. Realizing the importance of electronic media, the university established the Audiovisual Production and Research Center AVP and RC in 1986. The center has a sound and TV studios for producing radio and TV programs in coordination with academic faculty. The center also organizes the transmission of the programs by coordinating with the public service broadcasting agencies like All India Radio and Doordarshan Kendra. The university has been utilizing the transmission slot allocated under KU band network. It is heartening to note that the university puts the learners first with the motto of education for all to establish an egalitarian society which is the vision of Dr. B.R. Ambedkar.